I got a good idea. We can play basketball. Oops, oh, I got it too. Oh, yeah. no, boy. What? Oh, no, it. Welcome to Ryan's world. Whoa! Construction vehicles are so cool! I wish I had one! Hmm. I can ask Builder John if he can give me a construction vehicle suit. Let's go! Hey, Ryan! Hi, Builder John. Can you make me a suit that can grab things from the ground? Huh. So you want a suit that has an arm on it? and a claw with a thumb so you can pick stuff up. Kind of like an excavator. Okay. Huh. All right, I got it. If you can think it, I can build it. Let's go to construction. Whoa, look at this awesome excavator. I think this is exactly the kind of machine that Ryan was talking about. Let's go check it out. All right, kids, so we are on a construction site, so safety is very important. That's why I'm wearing these gloves to protect my hands, this vest so you can clearly see me, and this hard hat to protect my head. Hmm, I think I need to build an arm just like this. The first part we need in our design is a knuckle. The knuckle allows the arm to bend, kind of like your finger, like that. Hmm, so I need to find a way to move our arm. This arm is moved by pistons and hoses called hydraulics. We can't use that on cardboard, so I think I'm gonna use string and rubber bands. Whoa, now the coolest thing about this excavator is this big bucket. It has these huge teeth for digging into the ground. Now I really like this bucket, but I think I'm gonna add a thumb to it so it can grab stuff, so Ryan can go around and pick stuff up off the ground and put it somewhere else. Aha, I know exactly what I'm gonna build for Ryan. So let's go to construction. The cardboard is cut out, and now it's time to build. Now I'm a professional builder, so if you're trying this at home, make sure you ask an adult for help. The first thing I'm going to build is a lower part of the claw arm. Now this part is really important because it's going to attach directly to the base and it will house all of our controls. Ryan will be able to control the crane with these two hand levers, one for up and down and one to make the claw open and close. We need to make sure that all these parts are glued in and extra strong. There, that should do it. Next, I'm going to build the upper part of the claw arm. All right, that looks good. Now we need to attach the arms together. I'm gonna make a knuckle joint. This will allow the arm to bend and stretch all the way out. Here's the fun part. It's time to build the claw. We need to build the top and the bottom so it can open and close, kind of like your mouth. Let's add some teeth so we can get some extra grippage. Chomp, 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 chomp. To make the claw arm, we need to put the claw on the arm. <laughs> All that's left to do is to use some string and rubber bands to connect everything and make the claw arm move. That looks great. Now it's ready for Ryan. Looks like I'm done. Now we gotta try it out. All right, the arm is moving really nicely. If the knuckle is working good. Now let's try out the claw. The claw looks like it's working perfectly. I think this is ready for Ryan. But wait, I need to test it out. But how am I gonna test this out? Hmm. Whoa! Whoa, I have an idea. I can use this arm and the claw to pick up all the stuff and put it back in the bucket. That's the perfect way to test this out for Ryan. Let's go ahead and see if it works. It's working perfectly. Let's get this yellow. On the bucket we go. Let's grab the eyeball. Eyeball in the bucket. I wonder how many I can get in in 30 seconds. Let's go. All right, orange ball, you're coming with me. In the bucket you go. Oh, purple one's right here. Drop them in two. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yellow ball, on your way to the red bucket. 16 seconds left, 15, 14. Oh, come on, we got another orange one. 
Yeah, from downtown. All right. Red ball, red bucket. Woo! Did you see him throw that one in? Four seconds left. Three, two, one. And the blue ball goes in the red bucket. Woo! Wow, I almost caught all of them. Well, this looks like it's ready to go for Ryan. So let's go ahead and take it to him. All right, Ryan, I think this will work for you. Whoa, this is so cool. Does it really work? You betcha. You want to try it on and see how it works? Sure. All right, so you have these two straps. You have to put over your shoulders. And this one strap goes behind your head. This arm works with these two levers. This lever right here moves the elbow. You can move it up and down and reach high and low. And then the other lever works the mouth right here, the jaw. This works like a thumb to where you can just grab stuff and move it to another location. And work both of them together work like this. Ooh. And one more thing, Ryan. I built an extra one for your dad so you can take it home and y'all can play together with them. Thank you, Builder John. I have an idea to play with Daddy at home. Let's go. Ah! Hey, Daddy. Hey, Ryan. Whoa, what is that? Look at this. Isn't it cool? Wow, that's so cool. Aw, I wish I had one too. Actually, I have another one. It's right there. Whoa, that's so cool. You know what? We should use these to play games together. I got a good idea. We can play basketball. Let the game begin. All right. Let's dump all the balls on the floor. Small ball, small ball. Grab the balls on the floor and put it on the goal. I'm going to try to go for the small one. No, no that one's too. mine. That one's mine. No. Fine. I'll grab something else. Oh, right here. I got it. Oh, oh. I got it too. Oh, yeah. oh my God, my boy. I'm catching up. Here we go. Uh, yay! One point to me. First of five wins, Daddy. Uh, uh -huh, uh, I dropped it. Whoa. Hey, two points. Yay! Three points for me. I'm winning. Uh, uh, I can drop it. Oh, I'm going to get the eyeball. Ah, uh, you dropped it. No, no, oh, no, I dropped it. You dropped it. Ha ha. Oh. Ah. Ah. No. Yeah. Four. I need one more. I'm gonna try to get the big one. Uh, no. Oh, I see you do it. Ah. I lost, but it's okay, because it was so much fun. I really like this train machine. Woo! Hey, don't grab me. Oh, no, he's grabbing my hand. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I won. I got five points. Woohoo! Thank you, Builder John, for making this DIY train machine. It's so cool. And thank you guys for watching the video. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. And like the video and subscribe and click notifications bell. Bye. Ding. Whoa, rise up. Whoa, that was fun. But I wish I could have something to shoot the balls for me. I'll ask Builder John. Builder John, Builder John. I think that was Ryan. Let's go see what he needs. Hey Ryan, how can I help? Can you build something that can shoot the balls for me so I can knock the cups down? Hmm, so you want a device that will launch a ball? Yeah. Do you want it to pivot so you can angle it up and down? Yup. All right, I think I have just the idea. If you can think it, I can build it. Let's go to construction. Hey, Builder John, what you doing? Oh, hi, Gus. Well, I'm about to build a ball launcher for Ryan. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can I help? Of course you can, Gus. Let's plan it out with the blueprint. Okay, Gus, first we're gonna need a tube to hold the ball and give it a path to travel. What's gonna push it through the tube, Builder John? Good question, Gus. First, we're gonna need to build a block 
that will fit into the tube and will attach rubber bands to push the ball out and create force. Hmm, sounds complicated. It can be, but we'll take it one step at a time. Sounds good. Next, we're going to build a lever with the catch to hold the block and then it will release it when it is pulled. So, are we supposed to be able to see all these parts? Oh yeah, we're going to need a body to house the mechanism. Wow, this is going to be huge. How are you going to be able to hold this thing? Well, I'm going to build a base for it and I'm even going to build it on a pivot so that way we can launch balls at different angles and trajectories. A trajectory what? Trajectory, Gus. The path of an object when it's in flight. Like this. Kind of like Angry Birds. Hmm. Sounds like something Peck would say. Now that the blueprints are done, let's get to building. This is all the material we'll need for the ball launcher. We attach the inner cardboard tube with hot glue. Then we assemble the block that will push out the ball. Next is the rubber band system that will provide the force that the ball needs to launch. After that, we install the lever which will release the rubber band system to launch the ball. There you have it, a ball launcher. Let's put it on a base and test it out. Okay, Gus, well, we're gonna test it. We're gonna launch a ball into this large pyramid of cups to see if we can knock them down. So we can test the trajectory. Exactly. See, learn something new every day. <laughs> Let's launch it. That was so much fun. So Gus, do you think it's ready to take to Ryan? Yeah, he'll love it. Thank you for your help, Gus. See you later, Gator. Bye, Builder John. Here you go, Ryan, will this do? Whoa, this looks so cool. Does it actually work? Well, of course it does. I'll show you how. So first up, you grab this lever right here, you pull it back and lock it into place. Once you have it locked into place, you get a ball, you insert it right here, and then you can pull this right here and it will launch the ball. Okay, Ryan, how about you give it a try? Whoa! Whoa, it knocks so much cups now. Can we launch this apple? Hmm. Whoa! Yeah! I have four objects in here. Three, two, one. Whoa! Good job, Ryan! Yeah! Yeah! This is so cool. Can I take it home and show Daddy? Well, of course you can. Thanks, Builder John. You're welcome, Ryan. See you later. Bye. Whoa, Ryan, what is this? This is a ball launcher that Builder John made for us. Wow, so cool. How does and it work? So you can aim it up and down to see how far you go. Look. Oh, oh, and I see. Look, the angle, the measurements right here. Yeah. Okay. So you pull this backwards. Uh -huh. Put the ball in. And there's a lever on the bottom right here that you pull. Whoa! Yeah. Ryan, how about this? How about you launch the ball and see if I can catch it on the other side? Okay, good idea. All right, let's do it. All right, Ryan, I'm ready. Bombs away! Whoa! Got it! Woo! Good job, Ryan. Man, this is really fun. I'm really glad John made this one. Really cool. Woohoo! Ball launcher rocks. Thank you for watching this fun crafting DIY video. Remember, I always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Bye. All right, let's launch it again. Ooh. Whoa, why is the road so bumpy? How do they make it smooth? We can ask Builder John. Builder John. Builder John. I think that was Ryan. Let's go see what he needs. Hey, Ryan, how can I help? Why is the road so bumpy? And how do they make it smooth? Great question, Ryan. You see, there's this large machine that is as big. You know what? I'll just show you. Be right back. Whoa, this is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. It is a grater. Yeah, Builder John, that's a big machine. I bet you're wondering what a grater is. Well, I'll show you. A grater uses this giant blade right here to cut and shape dirt to make roads. Wow, it's cutting off the top layer of dirt like butter. What else can you show us? Now I'm gonna show you how it's powered. So the blade on this machine is powered by hydraulics. The motor drives the hydraulic pump, which comes to the controls. The controls use hydraulic fluid through the hoses and moves the pistons, which the pistons move the blade. 
And that's how this grater works. Okay, let's jump inside and see how the controls work. Remember to always wear your hard hat and protection. John, how does this thing even work? This is the steering wheel. The steering wheel moves those big wheels to control the direction of the grader. Whoa! Can I drive? No, Gus, you can't drive. Oh, rats. This lever will move the right side of the blade up and down, like so. And this lever moves the left side of the blade up and down, just like that. You need to move the blade in case the road is uneven. This lever is to lean the front wheels. The wheel lean comes in handy because it puts you closer or further away from the ground, depending on what you need. Now this lever here rotates the blade. Wow, look at that giant gear. It's rotating that blade. This lever slides the blade side to side. Watch as the blade moves left. Now watch as it moves right. Now let's finish grading the road. Woohoo! Wow, this is looking really good. And this is the first step to a nice flat road. And I'm back. So I'm going to have to grade this road to make it smooth? Yes, exactly. Now we don't have the big grader to come in here and smooth this out, so I'm gonna use this ruler to act as the blade on the grader to move the dirt to make it flat and smooth. Whoa, can I try? Sure. Let's smooth it all out. There you go, Ryan. Now you have a smooth road for your vehicle to drive on. Thanks, Builder John. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye, Sandstorm.